Hello everyone, welcome to Job Skills Share. Today I'm sharing another real world scenario video. Basically, they are very small and very specific to the problem. So they're not a very uh, detailed training video. So um, this is going to go under this section, real world daily scenario. So you can see right here, I have other ones too. Um, these kind of videos kind of really help new new learners that exactly what type of problems do we um, put our hands on and how do we fix things. Um, sometimes it's like a book type solution that you have to follow and sometimes you have to be very raw and just do whatever to make it fix. So that's how it works in Outlook 2. Outlook scenarios will be like you upgraded uh, from 2010 to 2013 you like did mass deploy it to like 200 computers and then you have like almost 10 15 users that are getting errors on their outlook something went wrong uh, emails didn't work properly errors are popping up so where do you where do we usually go and kind of like we know that if I do this it's going to be fixed it's like okay you know what if there's a computer that's having an issue it's messed up then I know I have an image remember we did a lot of e videos about imaging so I can just put that image in there and everything will be okay sometimes you want to troubleshoot things if you have time sometimes you just need to know where to go and do things so that's what this video is about is where to, where to go to kind of troubleshoot outlook and fix some issues so let's say for example this is outlook right here and you're having issue with it when you click on it it just it's not opening up problem so let's say for example I click on it and you get all these error messages right now error messages and it's not working for you you put a password for the user and it's not working it's an issue usually I would go is the first thing is to okay you know something is not right what if they open like multiple outlook f um, so at the same time you will see like four or five outlook are, are running at the same time so that's kinda like you know not right and I'll say mm, something is not right so I'll just basically kill end the process and that that went away and if you if you see like multiple of them that means something is not right you just do that one time or clear like few other ones too and then reopen it and it will say it's it's it want to open it in a safe mode sometimes you just open it and things works that's one quick solution for something like very basic but not always it's going to be like that so you're gonna get a message again like this oh you know this is not it's not getting fixed what do I do now um, one thing you need to know that if you know for sure that your emails are getting saved on the server which almost every company should do and that's how they do it it's saved on the server so you as a technician is not worried about you know messing their emails you still have to need, need to back it up from a folder but still you know you're just not worried about it what, are, what, what do we do like you know to fix this kind of issue like you have these issues right here one other way is to basically go to the um, control panel and then go to the mail settings and then you basically go to the email account or show profile here's a profile right here you can remove that profile most of the time if this will fix the issue so if I remove the profile and click yes click apply and then I'll say add another one and if you put default outlook profile it should automatically open a new one and recreate everything from scratch so this there you go so basically what's gonna happen in a company when you're inside the company it will automatically pick their email since they're logged into the Active Directory it will pick their e name email and the password it, it will basically automatically happens they will just click next 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 sometimes they will get prompted now on Office 365 they will get prompted almost twice they just need to click on uh, remember the password which when you change the password will again prompt them again but you can do that and it will basically go through and everything will be nice and smooth so that's an, uh, one way to fix it right let's say this also fail where do you go after this and how do you fix it sometimes when you have is you have like email boxes shared email boxes a lot of things going on and it just gets messed up like you know and you want to like blow it off you just want to like start everything from scratch where is this folder where is every, everything getting saved right now so if we can fix it this way then we will go basically to another 
place and that's under your computer you'll go to your C drive then you go to your users then you go to your account that user account but what you're gonna see in your company if you haven't done this you won't see that hidden folder just like I just did that right now if you go to view right now and say hid hidden items or in uh, or Windows 7 it's going to be a little bit different option file and then somewhere in options and you go to like show all, show all hidden folders but here's you do hidden f items here and you'll see app data in app data you'll go to local then you go to Microsoft and this guy right here has all the emails in there so you, you can see right there is 3.20 GB sometimes what you need to do you can go inside this folder and just cut the the, um, the information like you can just right click cut it and create a backup of somewhere let's say for example if I go to this folder right now and if I right click actually no I don't want to mess with this one <laughs> so basically if I let's say this one right here and let's say if I if if I want to let's say cut this folder I can just right click cut it and it will take it out from there but it will be quickest way because the real world scenario would be what if someone has like 8 GB in there like you know that's gonna take you so much time just to copy and paste it somewhere to make a backup of it but what I do basically I just go there right click on it cut it and put it somewhere else in the desktop while I'm working to fix this issue because most of most of the time we don't even need the other backup but just in case you know things get messed up just in case I mean things are not coming up and they really want to see that emails like the emails that were saved over there it's still going to come from the server but maybe server is having issue then uh, they want to get to their email so definitely you want to right click and either copy copy takes time or you can do cut and put it somewhere else and watch what happens if I delete this folder it's gone right but if I go to my outlook again it's basically giving me welcome screen now this is like the this is like even when you install outlook for the first time this is what you get and every single thing start from scratch again and you get the same message here the f even from the big like you know the one that you do the profile one even if that doesn't fix it then just try this and then it will pick up the user profile again um, now this r this uh, this video is for a business or anywhere you work so they will be under active directory account and it will automatically pick it up over here and then from there on they will like you know the email will build up just like it was in the beginning beginning time when you got the new computer what if this also fail then now you need to make sure that their account is not locked because if their account is locked somehow you messed their uh, you messed around with the password so many times definitely you want to check that first then second thing is that you want to make sure that they have other things going access everything is fine and you know you know they can get to the the easiest way is to go to like the web webmail or um, office 365 uh, portal site if you can get to their email through that then you know their emails are working they can see their emails that's the easiest way and then you know that everything is happening on this computer and then other way is to how about get the same username and password and log them in as your some test computer at your place so if they can log in and you can see the emails are coming up and everything so you know for sure it's just this computer and just this office is having an issue you do a repair and to do a repair you can just go to uh, control panel and go to your add and remove uh, add, and, add, add and remove features and if you go there and let's say for example if I right click on Outlook click on change and okay now I need to switch it so when you click on change you will see like repair option so you can basically um, do a whole repair on Outlook if that also fails then reinstall Outlook and if that also fails then just do a image but that's I mean the real I mean I'm talking I'm talking about reality over here we don't have don't that much time to go in registries and uh, unless this is like something you, re you really really want to solve uh, and you just I don't know like what would be the reason but uh, in a real world when you have three to four hundred computers and people are calling every day with different scenarios and different things are going on trust me you would wanna just go ahead and blow the folder that Outlook one make sure you cut it and just let it build again now 
there are some other things that can happen, but I mean, not big ones. Like, you know, people already know this stuff. You just want to make sure where their favorites are, their other things. I mean, even the signatures are there. This is not going to do anything with the signatures. So things like that. I mean, it's you just have to think about in in reality uh, and how when you work at office and how much time can you spend on this. So that was another real world video. Hopefully someone have learned anything because I, I know I got some emails about Outlook and I will do a full uh, short uh, course related to Outlook and that's going to be with the office uh, or with the office deployment when I make that course uh, that's going to be like a software deployment so I will do office deployment and something that I'm gonna go through Outlook in detail where I'm going to basically test things and then work on it and break it and then you guys will see everything in a little bit more detail than just a scenario video hopefully you guys like this video and hope make sure you like the video make sure you subscribe and see you guys soon Bye-bye.